Thank you so much for attending my presentation on why WabaFit is amazing and why why not's pretty good too. And first, let's take a look at their traits. Each are very similar, with functionally the same move pool and similar stat distributions. WabaFit's only high status is HP of 190, but that's all it really needs. With 58 defenses, it's just bulky enough to lift hits, but what does it do with those opportunities? Well, at first glance, its move pool looks really bad. The only moves that can deal damage are counter and mirror code, but all the opposing players to do is not use attacking moves and switch, right? Well, that's where Shadow Attack comes in, which traps all other Pokemon, preventing them from switching out. This in combination with Encore means that it can force opponents to attack it, where it can guarantee kills. Before we get into how it's performed, I want to quickly talk about why trapping is broken. Pokemon is largely built on the two main actions of using moves and switching. Trapping abilities like Shadow Tag completely take out the latter. Because trapping is inherently offensive, trappers can be built specifically to take down offensive threats quickly. For this reason, trapping abilities limit a player's options even when they aren't in play. Having a Wobbuffet or Gothitelle on the back makes every single action taken by your opponent really risky. One wrong move and they'll be losing a whole Pokemon. The risk reward is awful. By clicking any move that could allow a trapper to come in safely like hazards, recovery, taking a KO, or an attack that the trapper resists, you run the risk of losing a whole Pokemon. Now to be clear, there is some counterplay. Some Pokemon don't have to deal with trapping and they are mods that are so strong that they can't be trapped but it serves to make over centralizing metagames. Your team had better have a ton of anti-trapping counters or it'll be absurdly difficult to work around. Trapping is way too strong in most OU metagames, but with the higher Uber's power level, more stuff can actually threaten common trappers and kill them, so it's oftentimes legal there and in Little Cup. The Wobbuffet Smogon strategy decks pages are really weird. It lives in either Ubers or ZU sometimes both. Since it can't use Shadow Tag in lower tiers, which became possible when it got Telepathy in Gen 5, it's awful, being unable to do much of anything besides die. But when it has Shadow Tag, in almost every Uber generation since inception, it's had a role. Wob has never been top tier per se, but it's always been pretty damn solid. It's great at checking some of the weaker attackers and support Pokemon that lack the firepower to actually take it out, and thrives on choice lock Pokemon being forced to use the same resisted or non-stab move. It doesn't like Power Creep, as being O-Code is a good way to counter trapping, but was always good until Gen 8 where it got too bad and fell by the wayside. Funny piece of trivia, Wobbuffet is banned from running leftovers in Gen 3 Ubers because since Shadow Tag Pokemon can't switch out of each other there, it creates an infinite battle. Fun. And why not's pretty good too, for much of the same reasons. It has a fun nation Gens 3 and 4 Ubers as a trapper to be used alongside Wobbuffet. Because of its worst bulk, it demolishes weaker attackers like Jirachi as it takes enough damage to knock them out in one counter or mirror coat. It's almost always worse, but can be used in some weird niche teams if you're looking to cook a little bit. It's great in a ton of little cup formats though as a premier trapper. In LC tiers where trapping is legal, why not has been historically great, especially in early gens. Sadly, it was forged out of the limelight similar to Wobbuffet with its rival Diglett rising to the top. When trapping isn't legal though, it's nearly worthless. In conclusion, Wobbuffet and why not designs are possibly the most unique in all of Pokemon, and unlike the other oddballs, they're actually really good and competitive. However, trapping is one of the strongest mechanics ever created. If it was exclusive to these guys, I wouldn't complain. Thank you so much for watching.